Hi, I'm Erin Hollenbaugh, Program Coordinator of Communication Studies here at Kent State University at Stark. And I've invited a senior applied communication student, um, David Lambert, to talk a little bit about his experiences in the major, as well as to talk a little bit about some of the lessons that he's learned um, in his professional life, too. So welcome, David. Can you um, start by telling us a little bit about how you found uh, communication? How did you get here, and, and where are you at now? Oh, that's pretty interesting. Actually, I was meeting with an advisor, and uh, he had noticed I came to Kent Stark with a whole slew of previous coursework from another college, and I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I, once I let him know what my interests were, which were pretty much everything, um, he pigeonholed me right there on the spot for applied comm, and I haven't looked back. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So um, I know that I asked you to talk today because I think that some of the things that you've learned throughout your experiences in the program could be really beneficial for our, our current or our prospective students to hear too. So can you tell me a little bit about some of the um, courses or some of the assignment types that have sort of stood out in your experience and how you're using them in your professional life? Uh, definitely. Honestly, it was some of the courses I've taken at this campus that have impacted my professional life the most. Mm -hmm. uh, I never really thought I'd end up, in, end up in a corporate environment prior to graduation, but stuff like high impact speaking, uh, communication in small groups and teams, interpersonal communication, interviewing, resumes, yeah. all these are things that I got to apply on the job pretty much immediately, yeah. and they've been useful. Well, tell us about your job. What do you do? Uh, I work for Apple. I work from home. Um, I'm a corporate badged employee, still entry level, but uh, I've had the opportunity to reach a middle income position before I graduated, mm -hmm. and uh, really a lot of that's from the skills I've accumulated under this major. Mm -hmm. So, are you doing any, um, you know, public speaking or um, team group team work? Like, what are you finding? Where's those connections between your courses and that position? Oh, uh, good question. Actually. Um, my billet position, my actual position, has me working with customers one-on-one. -on -one. So mm -hmm. communication, obviously, that's the mm -hmm. first thing right there. And I speak to two customers simultaneously. And I have to manage two different complex technical okay. issues at the same time while establishing rapport, mm -hmm. um, building on the uh, foundations of a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of that, I also work in management. I've worked in training, and I've got to deliver presentations to hundreds of people simultaneously. Um, wow. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's remotely. It's a, it's a little bit different environment, okay. but uh, it's the same stuff. Make sure you're keeping eye contact, um, your tone of voice, things that you're mm -hmm. going to learn in some of the more general early courses in the major. But since it's remotely, do you still get to wear sweatpants? Like, do you only have to be professional from the waist up? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's professional from here up, <laughs> unless you tilt the camera. You can, you, right. can, you can go crazy with it, but um, really it's it's still a corporate environment. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit lax because the culture at Apple's a, a different animal than yeah. other places I've worked. But yeah, no doubt some of the things yeah. I've learned before even graduating, because most people, they look at a degree and they see value in it once you're finished. Yeah. But there's value in it um, as soon as you have start applying mm -hmm. the things you've learned. And really, the value you find is, is what you make of it. Yeah. So I know that from previous conversations that you've had quite an evolution in your experiences from, from your beginnings, you know, middles, and now getting closer to the end of your time here at Kent State. Um, can you talk a little bit about what it was that changed you? Uh, yeah, and as most people find, it's hardship that makes people grow up mm -hmm. and typically you'll encounter some kind of traumatic event, whatever it is, something that stresses you beyond the point where you've, uh, you're prepared to go. And you either grow up or you stay juvenile. And I, yeah. I had to grow up. Yeah. And it was a benefit. It was a good thing for me. I went from being below the poverty line, selling all my possessions, to stay afloat with monthly rent and bills, wow. to not that, mm -hmm. to buying a home. And I really, it's funny that you know most people wouldn't be so willing to toss all this on school, which is like, it's an institution. It's not a person. It's right. not a, a thing. But really, I, I owe a lot of that to the stuff I've learned mm -hmm. here. And and I was only half paying attention. So if you pay attention, <laughs> to, if you take this seriously, mm -hmm. it could do a lot for mm -hmm. you. So David, if you had some sort of like magical time machine, you could go back a couple of years and you could talk to yourself, um, maybe shake some sense into yourself, right? Like what advice would you give to that David? What can our students um, who are new to the major know now that might set themselves up for success in this, in this program? Uh, you can really take that a lot of ways. First thing I would say is take this seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, apply yourself. 
And again, I, I know I've already said it, but it's what you make of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you're going to find in these courses that there's overlap, that you're mm -hmm. going to feel like I'm taking the same course. You're taking the same course if you decide to do the same projects, right. if you uh, fail to challenge yourself. Because when you end up in a corporate environment, there are challenges and you have to meet them every day. And there's not training to handle yeah. challenges in a corporate environment within that corporation mm -hmm. and when you can do it in a safe setting in a classroom you have you have immediate feedback and you're not going to lose your job you're not going to miss out on promotions mm -hmm. uh, take this seriously apply yourself and when a challenge arises don't be afraid of it enjoy it have fun with it if you have fun with something it does not feel nearly as uh, overbearing or demanding right well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to chat with, with us today. Um, it's so encouraging for us as faculty to hear. You know, we don't often get to broaden out and hear these larger lessons learned, so I appreciate that. No problem. Thanks for having me.